Hey guys, I'm Little Red, and thanks for clicking on this video. As you can see, we are in my bathroom and I do not have any makeup on. I saw that a few of y'all wanted me to kind of do a makeup video to show y'all what my makeup routine is and today Dane and I are gonna go on a date night so I thought it would be fun for us to get ready together I can kind of show you what I do just so you know I'm cheap so basically all I use is drugstore makeup so I can show you all the products and how I apply it and if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to answer for you. I do just wanna preface this by saying, I have no clue what I am actually doing. I've watched a lot of beauty guru videos on YouTube. I watch Tati as well as Rach Loves and I've kind of like pick and choose which things that I like. Being that I'm right ahead, I have a hard time really doing makeup and taking what other people do because generally they make me look like a clown. I'm very fair skinned, I have blonde eyebrows and bright red hair, blue eyes, so you can kind of make me look a little crazy really fast. So my goal of makeup is always to look as natural as possible. I generally like to start with my eyes. This is something that I recently just got into. One of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, which is what <laughs> I actually spend my money on is eyeshadow palettes. I just collect eyeshadow palettes. It's kind of ridiculous. But anyways, today we are going to start off with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. So this is what it looks like. Something that I do love about it is that it smells like chocolate. This is the inside of it. You get a lot of neutrals and some fun pops of color. So what I do is I go in with the lightest color, this little cream color here, it is called white chocolate, and I just kind of put it on to my whole eyelid. All right guys, this is the first time I'm doing a makeup video, so I'm trying to like look past the camera <laughs> to see myself in the mirror, and it's kind of strange. So then I go in with this milk chocolate color, you can see it right here and just kind of like start working it from the outside in um silly i can look at the mirror on here <laughs> that would make my life easier wouldn't it and then once i kind of have that good color looks fine i'm down looks good to me i go in with a little bit more of a shimmery color i just kind of place it sort of in the center of the eyelid and then blend out from there. I'm not really 100% sure why I do it. I just kind of like the way it looks, which is what I've decided is makeup. If you like the way it looks, then that's all that matters. <laughs> so that's basically just like my eye, the top of my eye. I go in with a smaller side of the brush to this green over here. It's called Gilded Ganache and I just take a little bit and I kind of just go along my lower lash line just to give like a little bit of eyeliner look to it. And so now you can see I kind of have like a little bit of an eyeliner look at the lower lash. I like using eyeshadow rather than eyeliner because I think it's just a little bit more subtle. Now that I'm done with that portion of my eyeshadow, I go in with the darkest color in the palette, which is generally like a dark brown. So this color is called Triple Fudge. Basically what I do is I go in with a very, very thin, almost like fine tip eyeshadow brush. It's probably not even for eyeshadow, but that's what I use it for. I go in on the corner of the inside of my eye, like where your tear duct kind of is, and you can't see me when I'm putting it in front. I'm sorry. And I put it right about here and I just kind of draw a little bit of a line essentially giving myself eyeliner again right but it's just a little bit more subtle than normal eyeliner and then I'll go in on the top above my lashes and create a very thin line there all right so I have the tops of my lids lined and so then I'm gonna go on the bottom eyelid 
and just do a little extra on top of the green that I did on the bottom. But so this is my eyeshadow look. Basically I used all one palette. I think this entire chocolate bar Too Faced eyeshadow palette is like $45 or something. So moving on to my primer. I like to use this Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser by Maybelline. Again, I'm cheap, so I don't like using very expensive stuff. So basically I use this just all over my face where I get a lot of pore showing. So I, you can see my pores a lot on my nose as well as the insides of my cheeks. I guess not the insides of my cheeks, that's weird, wouldn't that be the inside of your mouth? Anyways, besides the point, basically right here is where you can see it as well as on my forehead. So I just do a little bit, you can't really see it that well, but I maybe did a dime's worth of this product and it will cover my entire face and you don't need a lot. You can kind of tell my skin does look a little bit more matte. You don't see all of the pores anymore, which is really nice. So now that I've done all of that, I'm going to go in with my concealer and it is an e.l.f. concealer. It's hydrating camo concealer with a satin finish. You can kind of see it maybe. Really all I do is two dots, one on the inner corner and one on the outer corner on both eyes and then I use my beauty blender to blend them out. That's all you need and a little goes a long way with this product. So here's my beauty blender. Also, it's a knockoff. Got it from the grocery store and I actually love it. I just go in, in the corner and I just start blending. And what I have learned is I use my concealer basically all the way down into the crevice of my nose. For the longest time, I used to just use like makeup sponges for my concealer and my foundation. My life was changed once I got a beauty blender. And so I, again, I highly recommend it. So then I go in with my foundation. I like to use this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk, sort of almost like a BB cream foundation, and it just smooths everything out a little bit. It's not heavy, it has a dewy finish, it's also vegan, which is great. I know a lot of people have the little palettes, you put it on, you stick your little beauty blender in and call it a day. I don't do that, I literally just stick the foundation on my face. And I'm like, okay, we're gonna draw like a little line on each side, make sure that you get all the way up into your hairline because nobody wants to see a little line. And now everything's blended in. So pretty easy, super simple. I have a good coat of foundation all over my skin at this point. And if I'm being completely honest with y'all, I don't wear makeup every day. I wear makeup when I shoot these videos, when I go on date nights, and when sometimes friends are coming over and we're doing something. I rarely wear makeup. I generally just wear mascara and then I move on with my day. If I can sleep just like a little bit longer, then I'm going to. So now there are two products that I just wanna tell y'all that I use. The first one is this CoverGirl True Blends Mineral. It's a translucent setting powder. I have been using this for a really, really long time and I genuinely really, really like it. However, I'm not gonna use that today. I saw this L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in powder and I've been using it like powder. So I just go in with my beauty blender, dab it in, just do dab, 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 and then just kind of start pressing it onto my face. My whole goal is to make myself look like myself. <laughs> So that might be a really silly thing to say. That's when I feel the most comfortable. When I have way too much makeup on, I feel like I'm being someone I'm not, and I'd rather just be who I am. People should appreciate you for you. So my face has been sufficiently powdered. So then from there, I do use some bronzer just because I've made my face basically as flat as possible in color with all of the foundation, the concealer, and the powder. So I go in with just two different colors. The first one is this bronzer, it's called Revolution. And I just go in with this little brush, I sort of dab, dab, dab. And then I just go right underneath my cheekbone. So if you feel your cheek, you can feel a hard bone in there. I go right underneath it. 
just kind of do like a line and then blend. That's kind of a lot. I also like to go around the top of my forehead and then down to my chin. Finally, the last thing I go in on for my face is a blush and it's called Gold Rush, it's my benefit. And then I just smile, put it on my cheeks and kind of blend it up a little bit and then make it kind of go on my temples. So that's really it for my face. The next thing is my mascara and literally my end all be all. That is what I will wear till the day I die, no matter what, if I'm going out in public, I will have mascara on. So the mascara I use is this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. The reason I really like this one is one, it comes in black and I really like this brush. It's a fluffy, very big brush. I do not like the silicone brushes. I like the ones that are more bristles. I go in at the base of my eyelashes and I kind of wiggle and then I go up. And I just do that a few times until I get the volume and coverage that I want. Once I get the top eyelashes to look the way I want it to, I go in on the bottom eyelashes very gently. I do not put a lot on them and just just wiggle a little bit down there just to make it noticeable that I have eyelashes down there. All right, and so that is basically my full face of makeup. I think I am good and ready for date night. I hope y'all enjoyed getting ready with me. If you want me to do more of these kind of makeup lifestyle videos, let me know down in the comment and click the thumbs up button on this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more of me, don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you all next time. Bye.